Hi, this is Abdul Aziz Khan with you uh, in a new video. So basically I got a comment on one of my uh, one of my videos uh, and someone needs some information about how to uh, check the adaptive modulation in uh, path loss so i think this should be a burning issue in the mind of uh, some more people as well so i thought that i should make a because i could just reply him and but i thought i should make a small video uh, it will not be a very long video inshallah so just to, as a prerequisite, I mean, if you want to use uh, adaptive modulation techniques in your uh, networks and you want to plan it uh, in path loss before using it, because path loss five, uh, it gives you uh, adaptive modulation as well, which was not part of uh, path loss four. I hope all of you who are working with path loss, they know it very well. <clears throat> so the thing is that if you know this thing, then you must know that uh, mostly the equipment files that we use, these equipment files, they do not have uh, the adaptive modulation uh, data in it. Uh, in one of my videos, I have uh, showed how to uh, modify uh, the equipment files yes so if you have not uh, watched this video i will uh, ask you to watch this video first uh, because this video will help you in uh, I will not run it, I will just show you So this is uh, the place where you can modify a uh, um, equipment file and uh, I will not go in that detail but this is the software that you have to use and uh, you can watch my video, uh, this one video, how to modify equipment file and path loss because if you have a previous file, uh, which if you have a normal equipment file then these uh, normal files uh, they don't have uh, they don't have a, a, a adaptive modulation uh, data in it so now assuming that you already have uh, equipment file with adaptive modulation data or if you don't have, then maybe you have modified your uh, equipment file and you have added uh, the adaptive modulation data in it, then uh, you can go ahead, you can go further live because this is, you can say, the, the main requirement. So what I do is, assuming you have the file, uh, you go in transmission analysis, uh, left click and the first one, this is the one. So we reach the terminal analysis here. And uh, now what we need to do is that you read here. This is written uh, microwave. Uh, what does this mean is that right now we are in a conventional microwave mode. So because a conventional microwave, as per path loss understanding, I mean because uh, a lot of files are made for the conventional microwave. So Path loss separates uh, adaptive modulation and conventional microwave in 
uh, two different modules so you just click it so click it this window will open path loss 5 data file calculation options you can go to this place from some other place as well but that change will make a overall change on everything the change that i've been making here is uh, making a change for this link so the application should be changed from microwave to adaptive modulation so just one small change from microwave to adaptive modulation and click this green button so now you are in adaptive modulation mode so if you see here uh, this all is changed now and here now you have adaptive modulation so but i mean uh, what happened no, nothing happened i mean so it means that there is still some more thing that we need to do and that is i hope you should uh, understand and remember that is very simple uh, this equipment is still being used the previous equipment i mean which is conventional microwave so we need to change now here you need to change this equipment model to a model which support adaptive modulation and how you know very easily is from this name uh, all the files that will be supporting adaptive modulation they should have adaptive modulation here in technology or maybe somewhere else as well this file is basically i don't had any adaptive modulation file with me initially now i have got some files from a friend of mine uh, but this i had changed if you see these two files they are exactly the same file i mean this is the same and this is the same so i have just modified one file uh, this modification also is not as per standard i cannot share this file with you uh, anyone who wants i mean because uh, this file is I have modified just to make this example. I have not put any specific or any uh, correct numbers. I have just put uh, random numbers in it. So uh, please don't ask me for this file. If you want to have this file, you can. You should try to talk to your uh, equipment vendor. Uh, your vendor should provide you uh, with this file. If you are not able to find with your vendor, you can still. Uh, then you can ask me I will try to look at uh, from somewhere so I have only this one modified file I will use it on both the sides this now maybe you can see here it's modified by me so what you will do is that uh, if you open a real file it will give you hopefully uh, many more options I mean all, not only two but I just put two options for the ease of mind. The file should tell you a throughput. The file should give you a reference. I mean, reference means that which should be your main focus. I mean, where uh, you want to keep the microwave in uh, normal conditions. And then your number should come here. Uh, so i say yes and then i say yes now you see here now we have uh, adaptive modulation fully planned now if you have a good modulation then you will have uh, uh, bigger tables but you see here it is telling me that okay uh, once it will be on 16 qm don't believe on these numbers I told you that numbers are put by me then it should have a TX power and then threshold should be different and then all these numbers fit margin should be 18 and uh, when you are on QPSK so you go to half of the capacity and then your numbers should be changed these numbers is extracting some of the numbers from the file I had provided it the minimum numbers and then these are received signals which are calculated based on your terrain and everything and here it's telling you the required thing I mean worst month multipath so worst month multipath should be you can see here that for high modulation it's uh, worse and for lower modulation it's a bit 
matter. So annual multipath and then annual rain. Rain is uh, not affecting both of these. So total annual you will have 99.86 and on QPSK 75 you will have 99.93. And uh, you will remain on this, your required or your referenced position, you will remain here for 99.86 percentage of the time. And you will remain here for 0 0.6 percentage of the time. So this is how you can use uh, uh, adaptive modulation and you can plan up adaptive modulation and this will give you all the responses on adaptive modulation and uh, if I change it uh, back from the I will go back to microwave now it has gone back to microwave because it has all the uh, all the required data is the file have the data of both, uh, um, you know, like this file has the data of uh, both the things. That's why it can uh, easily uh, work here. But just to show you uh, the kind of problem you can have, for example, if you are already in a conventional microwave, okay, I'm in a conventional microwave, it's fine, it's the same thing almost. Now I try to change it to adaptive modulation microwave and then I click OK. Now this will not uh, go. So this is something that you should uh, take care that, you know, the software, uh, if you are switching, if you are in uh, normal microwave and you switch to adaptive modulation, then it will not make any problem, it will switch because you know after switching you can change uh, the equipment type. But if you are in one type of microwave when you try to import or you try to configure a, another type of radio, I hope you are getting my point. I mean you have now, you will now have two kind of radio files for the same product. You will need one file for a normal conventional microwave, you need one file for adaptive modulation. Now, for example, if you are in normal conventional microwave mode and you directly try to change the equipment file to adaptive modulation file, it will not allow you, it will give you this error. But if you change the mode first, first you go, like I say, uh, First you go here, you change the mode from microwave to adaptive modulation. Now this will not give any error because the program knows that you are, have just changed the mode. So you will go from this type of microwave and you will change to another radio. That's why it's not giving you adaptive modulation numbers here because the radio being used right now is of a conventional microwave type. So I believe uh, you get the idea if you are still having any problem in understanding any part of this, uh, you can again write to me, uh, but I hope this is clear. So we have, I will again summarize, I mean, the prerequisite is that you must have the equipment file with adaptive modulation uh, numbers, the adaptive modulation data should be there. This is the first thing. Second thing is that if you are in a normal microwave mode, then don't try to configure adaptive modulation radio. First go in the adaptive modulation mode. Once you are in the adaptive modulation mode, then you need to change the radio and then when you will change this radio like this, you go to adaptive modulation radio, say yes, yes, and now you are in the adaptive modulation of this link. Now from here, when you will go back again to normal microwave, it will not initially give you any problem because it will use the same data to show you the numbers here. But it's better that if you go back in normal microwave, 
then it's better that you change the microwave as well because in this way it will give you the exact uh, data so i hope this was a good uh, understanding video for you you hopefully you will get some benefits of this video please do share this video with your friends and do spread this knowledge and uh, subscribe to my channel and ask your friends also to subscribe to my channel so that uh, at least my viewership will uh, spread again uh, among more people so that's how i will get more feedback from people and then i can provide uh, more videos of uh, whatever is required and again i will say that please like the friend of mine who commented and he asked me for this thing so do comment on my videos and uh, if you are having any problem um, not exactly related to microwave if you have are having any problem in any other area uh, you can still uh, contact me so i hope this is a good video so see you in my next video okay bye